Hello, I'm coming to you from Fubar Labs in scenic Highland Park, New Jersey, and today I'm going to show you how to make the mask and scarf to complete a Rorschach from Watchmen costume. So you're going to need some white fabric. Um, I prefer using white t-shirts from the craft store, some handkerchiefs, you can also get at the craft store, fabric glue, India ink, some white thread, a needle, some paper, some scrap wood and some nails, as well as a cardboard form that you're going to place the mask around. It doesn't have to look like a ninja, but it helps. So here's the finished mask. Uh, I think it turned out pretty well. I didn't actually poke the eye holes in it yet. Uh, if you don't have enough visibility, you can do it later. Um, in a few seconds, I'm going to tell you to make an 18 by 18 inch square. It's a little tight, so you probably want to make it about 22 inches square, which is 55-ish centimeters for the rest of the world. And the t-shirts that I bought were 2XL or 3XL. Just get the largest size you can so you have the most fabric to work with. While the mask is the most striking part of the costume, most people forget entirely about the scarf. Here I've made a scarf out of uh, handkerchiefs and fabric glue, because fabric glue is awesome. And I just took three of them and stuck them together, and it works. Here's another scarf that I made out of a t-shirt. I just cut it up the sides, took the sleeves off, here's the neck hole, and this one also works pretty well. Start with the t-shirt, and once you've butchered it so that you have a single continuous piece of fabric, cut a square about 18 by 18 inches, or for the rest of the world, 45 by 45 centimeters. Try to include the hem of the shirt. That's going to be the top of the mask. So here's our square of fabric, and we're going to sew it inside out so that the seam is hidden when we are done with the mask. So take your inside out square of fabric and wrap it around your head to get a feel for where the stitch is going to begin. Just sort of pinch it around uh, the back of the crown of your head and we're going to sew a curve from about here all the way down to about halfway down your head. I uh, guess if you don't have a square head, you don't need to make a curve. So I finished stitching it from right about here to about here and we're just going to turn it inside out so that the seam is on the inside. And we actually get a pretty nice finished edge to it. What we're going to do next is put it on the cardboard form. And we're going to start with our design. You can go online and take a look at some of the masks from the comic, from the movie, or you can just start making your own ink blots. Hopefully you won't need therapy afterwards. This one looks like bunnies. With chainsaws. These weren't too difficult. I just took printer paper and some of the India ink, folded it in half, and squished it. Once it dries, you can take your favorite blot and tape it to the form. You should also try the mask on for size and make a rough measurement of where your eyes fit on the mask. Mine's about one palm length down from the crown of the mask. So I measured on the form, since the fabric is going to lay flat, the point of putting black areas around your eyes serves the same purpose as football mascara you'll be able to see through it much better and you won't have the white t-shirt shining in your eyes and blocking your view. So we're up to the point now where we're actually going to put ink on the mask. You should line up the seam of the mask behind the mid-center line of your blot and your form. Uh, that way you'll actually have a centered design. We have the India ink and our brushes. You don't want to dilute the India ink at all. 
If you do, you're going to end up with some wonderful gray, even though it says you can dilute it. This is my test fabric sample. Uh, you can maybe you can't see it, but the uh, the ink is thick enough that it gets a little stiff. So later we're going to use the scrap wood and the nails to punch better eye holes through the mask. And uh, as I mentioned before, it's about one palm width or palm length from the crown to the eye area, and then it's about another one from the eye area to the chin. So that's about the size that you're going to want your pattern to be, and thankfully it's about the, uh, the width of an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper on which I've made my blots. I'm using these sponge brushes and they're really absorbent so you're going to have to really get the ink to cover them before you go about uh, transferring it to your design. Um, basically just go and uh, so just fill in the pattern that you've made with the blot uh, using the sponges or any other brush that you'd like to use. The India ink is rather thick, but that's a benefit because it won't bleed through the fabric. Uh, so you'll, your design will stay pretty clean. Um, and when you're done, we're just going to let it dry. It shouldn't take too long, maybe an hour or two. And uh, then we'll go to the next step. So I'm finally done with the inking, and I'm just going to let it dry for the next few hours. It took a lot of India ink, I can tell you that. So I hope you bought a full bottle. So through the magic of technology, the ink is now dry. It took about three hours in front of a box fan. And uh, I just gently peeled it away. The ink was a little bit sticky, but uh, it's all dry now. And what we're going to do, when we put on the mask, it goes in here. and these two corners we're going to pull back and tie into a small knot. This will give definition to the chin and make sure the mask doesn't fall off when you're actually wearing it. So here's the finished mask and uh, you can see the, the black areas are over my eyes and I can see considerably better than when it was just a white field. Um, so put the hat on so it doesn't look silly and uh, you put the scarf on just pull it so that one end is longer than the other drape it over pull it in a simple knot here's the back of the mask you tie a knot so you get definition for the chin pull the knot a little bit tighter and uh, close up the jacket. Now you just add the gloves and you're ready to fight crime.